Hi there, Saki here from Saki Tech. In today's video, I want to show you how to transfer contacts from one Android phone to another Android phone in the quickest and easiest way possible. Now, one thing to understand when you're working with Android is Android backs up all of your contacts to your Google slash Gmail account. So if you have an Android phone, chances are that all your contacts are already saved to your Google slash Gmail account. If not, it only takes a few seconds to actually back them up. Now, let me show you how to check if you already have them backed up. And if not, how to do it within seconds. That's the first step. All right, so on your Android phone, go back home, uh, go into the settings of your particular Android phone. It should be very similar to this one. And then scroll over to personal and then scroll down where it says accounts. Now, if your Android phone does not look quite like this one, just look around until you find the accounts menu and then tap on accounts and then tap on Google. And that's going to bring your Google account that is currently connected to your phone. And obviously make sure the option sync contacts is in fact turned on as you can see. That means you are in fact backed up. And just a quick side tip. If you ever want to be 100% sure that your contacts are back to your Google account, what you have to do is log into your Gmail account and then on the top left, you can click where it says Gmail and that's going to bring up the options to actually browse through the contacts. When you click contacts, it's actually going to show the same exact contacts that you have on your phone that are being synced to your Gmail slash Google account. All right. So this is just a side tip to verify, to make sure all your contacts are in fact on Gmail. Let's move on. Let's go back to our contacts. Boom. And boom right there now on your new Android phone go into the settings and also go to personal and under personal also go into the accounts just like we did on the other phone and again it may not look exactly the same but this is approximately what you have to look for and from here choose add account and then obviously you have to look for Google and tap on Google to add the same account we have on the other phone. And that's going to ask you to type in your username, which is Saki Tech Online in this example. And then obviously you fill that up, you click next. And after you click next, it's going to ask you to put in your password, put that in and move on from here. Just accept the terms, click next, next, next. And you're going to come to this screen. And from here, you're going to be able to click on Google and go into the account that you just added to make some modifications. So let's click on the Google. And from here, just for demonstration, let me turn off everything, but keep context enabled. So turn that off, turn that off, 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 down, off, off. And as you can see, sync context is the only thing that is currently on. And look, that's the same thing we have on the old phone. So let's go back into the settings of the old phone. And as you can see, sync context is enabled on both phones. Let's go back into contacts and let's go back into the contacts of the new phone. And magically everything is right there. That's how easy and simple this process is. Make sure your old phone is backed up to Google slash Gmail. And once you verify that on your new phone, enable Gmail and enable sync contacts and you're done. Well, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up. Also, follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Saki Tech Online, for which links are in the description below. Have a fantastic day.